Hi, my name is Tyler Smith. I'm the marketing manager for Microchip's RF product division. Today I'm going to introduce you to the Microchip wireless development environment. The Microchip wireless development environment consists of three major parts. From the bottom to the top, they are the RF transceiver drivers, the protocol stacks, and the application layer. Each layer has a corresponding configuration file. Microchip has defined a MyMac and MyApp interface layer that connects these three parts together. Because of the use of the universal interfaces, all of the Microchip RF transceivers and protocol stacks to be interchangeable with little or no modification to the application layer. The Microchip wireless development environment supports Microchip's PIC18, PIC24, DS PIC33, and PIC32 family of microcontrollers. The Microchip wireless development environment is supported by Microchip's standard development environment by adding our RF daughter cards to each of the development environment boards. The PICDMZ, our PIC18 Explorer, our new 8-bit wireless development board, and the Explorer 16 board. To demonstrate the Microchip wireless development environment, we have two PIC18 Explorer development boards with our MRF 24J42.4 gigahertz RF cards. So I'm going to plug in the power to our first node within the network. This node is then going to go through an energy scan, which is going to take a few seconds to determine the, the channel within the 2.4 gigahertz band with the least amount of noise. Once the energy scan has detected the channel that it wants to operate on and establish the network, I'm now going to plug in the power to the second node within the network. This node is now going to create, uh, duplicate an active scan, which is then going to find the channel that the network was established by node number one. Once the network is established, I am now going to be able to press a button on the second node. So pressing button number one does a broadcast message from node two to any network, any node that's on the network. By pressing the second button on board number two, now it does a unicast message only to node number one that has established its parent with. So we've just demonstrated the CAN demo within our microchip wireless P2P protocol stack. Uh, in order to use the microchip wireless development environment, you basically go into the config app.h file. You comment out the previous protocol stack that you were using. You uncomment the protocol stack that you want to use. Uh, then you can go down to the radio driver section. You can com comment out the driver for the radio that you were using and uncomment the, the driver for the radio that you want to use for your next application. Save this file and be able to compile this uh, in, your, in your MP Lab Studio. Thank you for watching the video on the Microchip Wireless Development Environment. For more information, go to microchip.com wireless.